Hi! Okay, so in this vlog, this is back in, at the end of July, is where this footage has come. So, um, like I said before in previous vlogs, if you're here, if you're new, that I'm Shelly. I am the artist of um, Shelly Woodby Arts. I do dot mandalas and digital art. Uh, welcome. We are kind of going to the past because I filmed footage, but I was not able to actually do any kind of editing. So that's what we're doing. We're getting caught up on all the footage that I did. Um, I did a lot of painting, getting ready for uh, my markets. Um, I, in this vlog, you'll see I went on and, and doing more lives. I plan, I want to do more of those here soon, but really we will just all have to wait and see how that all goes. I always have the plan to do it, but time is so, limited right so um enjoy this vlog uh, uh if you have any questions or comments please make sure to leave a comment for me i would really appreciate it um and it'll also help me in the algorithm to get me out to more to more people and guess what that doesn't cost you anything it just costs you a little bit of time to do that so i appreciate you guys and let's get into it
my gosh, you guys, it has been so long since I've talked to you all. To be honest, I've just been like super busy with, well, soccer. Soccer has completely taken over my life and my weekends have been like tournaments, other things. Oh my gosh, it is, I, it's, it's the last day of July, guys, and I am so busy. <laughs> To be honest, I've been like super stressed out about getting stuff done, being at soccer practices and stuff. And today my husband actually told me, Shelly, stay home, work on your art stuff. And you know what? I'm glad that he did. I'm super glad that he did. But I've been just feeling super anxious about markets, like not having enough time to do stuff. The Oak Harbor Music Festival is not far away and then i have a um like it's a bay shore market that i'm going to be doing downtown oak harbor i'm not sure what that will be like or how how that will be i i have no idea but that's coming up really soon and then there was a potential sunday market that i might be doing at the end of august going into um i'm looking at my calendar over here um, going into, it's the same week as the music festival, festival, but I'm not sure yet. Um, last week I did a shop update for a whole, all, my whole galaxy collection. And if you haven't seen it, it's, here's the picture. Um, I, the first day, launch day, I didn't sell anything. <laughs> But this is all on Etsy, and so I didn't, I just, I didn't sell anything, like nothing. But then someone bought two stickers, which are my Orca stickers. And of course, it's a friend. Thank you so much. You know who you are. Yeah, it's, it was sad. And I've been definitely beating myself up and not feeling really down. It's been a rough couple weeks. It, it's really hard not to think negatively about myself when I see that, you know, all my hard work isn't coming to anything. But then I also know that I've been doing this for years and this is, it's just really hard, like trying to post on social media and then I'm reading books and I'm, I'm also like struggling with feeling really salesy because I don't, I'm not doing this to, of course I want to sell things. Let's be honest, I, I do want to sell things. But I also want to build a community, right? And to get to know people and all that stuff. That's kind of like why I enjoy markets too, because I get to know people and talk to them and get to hear their stories, which are amazing, the, some of the stories that I hear. And so I'm really looking forward to that. And to be honest, those are my big money makers. But I'm not selling anything and I've been saying that for weeks for weeks for weeks for weeks and normally it doesn't bother me but I'm really trying hard and I just I don't know maybe it's not so much that I don't want to keep trying but maybe I need to stop because I'm also really scared that I'm becoming very salesy and I don't want my page to be about that I want my Instagram Facebook page to be about sharing art and enjoying art and then I'm I just posted a super funny uh, reel today of me painting something and me staring at it and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I've spent six hours on this painting and I kept hoping it was going to get better, but it is, I, I still hate it. You, if you're an artist, you know exactly what I'm talking about when you're making things and you just absolutely hate it. I have no idea what is going to be on this vlog, guys, because it has been a long time since I've talked to you, so um, I might cut this one up a little bit I'm not sure but I do want to share some things I have like maybe four hours so I'm gonna kind of challenge myself and have this vlog I don't know we'll see but I'm really trying not to um, be so hard on myself and it's really hard because I want I'm measuring my success based on how much money I'm making which is actually probably the wrong way I mean yes I'm running a business but my whole goal for this business Rocky's walking in, is to have this fund itself, right? Like that's the whole goal is for my art to fund itself. Being full time, that's a pipe dream. That's really what it will come down to is it will be a supplemental for my retirement, whenever that is. But till then, I, 
ideally I want this to be self-sustaining where all of my art and all that stuff is all coming out of this. So uh, let's get started right now. I am currently working on um, my earrings that I did. I can't remember. I'm not even sure if I even showed these. So these are some new dangly earrings. I have a couple oopsies that are, guess what, gonna be mine. So we will see how that goes. So I put some, I don't know if you guys can see it. See any of the glitter? Can you see the glitter? I don't know. So right now I'm putting stucco on, not stucco. It's not stucco. It's stickles, stickles, stickles glitter. I really love this stuff. Um, I got this, I've had this stuff for a long time um, because I was making cards and stuff like that for a while. So I'm adding that onto all of my um, earrings. Here's another one. This is the lightning bulb. That was a part of that, um, a part of the, um, Galaxy series that I just did. I don't know if you can see the glitter. If not, that's fine. But these are also going to be cute little dangly earrings. So um, once I get all the glitter on it, I am going to go into the garage, put on my PPE, and do some UV resin on it. And uh, the bummer part about these is that it's white on the back. And there's like that in the front. So I'm not a fan of it, but I might end up, I might mix some glitter or something on the back so then it's not completely just, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna work on that. I'm thinking about maybe going on um, Instagram Live. I'm not sure, that's a little, <laughs> going live is super, but if I do it, I will videotape it because be honest I've never done it and I always see people doing lives but then I'm like how are they reading the comments if the camera is pointed this way what are they doing are they like looking like this like oh oh yeah I see your comment oh yeah blah 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 you know how does it work how how do they do it do they have it on a different screen and that's how they see it I've got questions if you know leave me a comment because Going live makes me really nervous. Makes me, the whole idea of it makes me super nervous, but it might help. So I might go on Instagram live here in a bit and see what happens. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, um, let's get to work. Well, that was fun. I just did a live on Instagram and on Facebook. That was awesome, it was fun. Uh, didn't sell anything, which is fine. But um, I got to unpack all of my stones for my market. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. I really enjoyed that and I look forward to doing it again next time. Yeah, we'll see what happens next time. I don't know, the hard part about doing these lives is like I don't really know what I should do. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go make my girls um, some dinner and I'll see you guys later. I don't know when, but I'll see you later. Hey guys, it's been a long time. So um, I am actually working on doing a wholesale um, catalog. There is a store that's here downtown that's looking for uh, potential vendors and I am currently working on that right now. I wanted to share that with you. It's been a while since I've popped on here, but I thought I would at least share that with you and kind of film me messing around with it and showing you what I'm doing. So hold on. All right, so here it is. I am working on this catalog and this is what I have so far. I'm doing this all on, um, on Canva and I actually bought this template off of an Etsy seller and just kind of tweaked it a bit. So um, I'm hoping, ideally I'd like to get this catalog out to um, that store today so it's like a wholesale um, if you are a store or a vendor and you're interested in wholesale please feel free to get in contact with me I am also on fair you can reach to, reach out to me that way too um, but yeah that's what I'm working on right now this is definitely a process 
Hello, it's voiceover Shelly. I just kind of wanted to give you a little update on this catalog. So I ended up finishing it and I sent it to the store, but unfortunately I have gotten nothing in response to it. And obviously this took me quite some time to do, but I'm glad I at least have it. So I need to update it and send it out to other potential stores other places or even putting it on my fair website. But it was a little disappointing that nobody even responded after I sent it, especially when they were asking. But I also need to be aware that sometimes my product is not going to fit the store dynamic. If they're more rustic and stuff, my art is definitely more colorful and might not be the best fit for that store. But we don't, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe she'll get in contact with me. Maybe she won't. But I just wanted to reach out to you guys and tell you thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end. And uh, if you did, um, let's have a secret password to put in the comments just for giggles. And I know that you watched this all the way to the end. Let's go ahead and make the special word product catalog as the special word. And once again, I appreciate every single one of you and make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.